Hi guys, so I'm out today in the field and I'm at Minster Beach at the Lees and I'm just gonna go through um, a little bit about beaches with you and about steep beaches and uh, flat beaches. So if I move the camera, we can see that we're here at the Lees. And as you can see, we have got very, very um, uh, large um, variety of pebbles and shells and things on the beach. And as you can see, they look quite big. The pebble sizes are quite large. It's definitely not sand, it's shingle. And as you can see in the distance, we've got some groins, but it's high tide at the moment, so we can't see them too well. But as you can see, the beach is looking pretty steep. And the reason for that is that when you've got large pebble sizes, the water as it comes in, as the sea comes in, the waves crash onto the beach and they infiltrate into the shingle really, really, really quickly because the particle size is big. So there's lots of gaps in the shingle, as you can see. If I poured water on this now, it would soak right in. So the shingle means that the water coming in, the, the swash that comes up the beach, um, infiltrates quickly and it leaves the particles at the top of the beach. When the backwash goes back out, it's already sunk in, so it doesn't take any uh, pebbles or any sand with it. So what starts happening is the beach starts getting nice and steep. And we know that a steep beach is really good for uh, protecting the beach and protecting the land behind. So as you can see here as well, this beach is looking nice and steep. We've got some berms here, as you can see, which are these layers um, that we've got when the tide comes in and it throws the pebbles up the beach. So a nice steep beach means that the area is protected.